Okay, so a big part of Hobbes' theory is the state of nature. So here's the question. According to Hobbes, what is the state of nature? Now, to avoid any confusion, I, I'm just going to point this out, right? He's not talking about necessarily living out in the woods and fending for yourself. I mean, it's possible, but it's not necessarily what he's talking about. Now, the state of nature is the state of humankind uh, absent a political state. Right? It's the state that we exist in as part of just our human nature, and that's it. What would govern us? What rules us? How would we live our lives just according to our human nature? Now, for Hobbes, our state of nature is equality, diffidence, and war. Okay, equality, diffidence, and war. Well, let's start with equality. What does Hobbes mean when he talks about equality and the state of nature? So I want, again, I want to avoid a confusion. He's not talking about some set of rights or justice that we all have, how we all have the same rights and we're all worth the same in the state of nature. That's not what he's talking about. You know, in a sense, we do have the same rights. Okay, sort of. But that's not the sort of equality he's, he's dealing with. Rather, you, you know, kind of think back with, uh, you know, when we had Glaucon and Glaugolum. And, uh, Glaugolum could get away with anything. He could defeat his foes. He could take whatever money he wanted to. He could uh, abuse others, right? That sort of person does not exist in Hobbes' state of nature. In Hobbes' state of nature... There is equality in the sense that we all have roughly the same equal physical and mental capabilities. There's no one person that can simply dominate all other people in the state of nature. There's no natural born ruler. There's no natural born tyrant. There's no one that can simply wrestle control. In the state of nature, we all have about the same capability and hence, no one could just simply overpower everyone else. So what about diffidence? Well, think about it. In the state of nature, there's a scarcity of resources, and everybody's competing for these same resources. That's going to lead to a little distrust. And that's what diffidence is. It's distrust of others. You don't know what they're thinking. You don't know what they're planning. All you know is that they want what you want, and only one of you is going to get it. In the state of nature, equality leads to diffidence, and diffidence leads to war, leads to violence.